Hello, hello, welcome back to Hooked on You. I recently have my regular ass salad, and I can tell you with quiet confidence that my stomach is rumbling, screaming at me, saying, Why you have done this to me? Did I hurt you in some way? Yes, you did, stomach. Talking to you. And uh, <laughs> there I am, praying again. Let's go back to you. Seems like the next activity is mealtime. How quaint. You expecting what? Cap shoot the flag. Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more easier than sitting and talking. Okay. You arrived at cockout. Uh, cookout. Cockout. <laughs> okay, that's quite, quite not really the part you want to be, I guess. Uh, you find another uh, assortment of picnic tables shall around. You were, uh, what were you expecting? Some kind of ground hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious fantasy epic like you find on a cable. Dwight and Claudette usher you to your seat, but there's a very limited sitting direction uh, directly around you. Uh, great, terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. How come? I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why I'm so popular in video games. <laughs> Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain other people <laughs> either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper, of course. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Raid and Trickster, of course. Uh, secret character surprise appearance? I don't know. Oh yeah, Trickster is here. Surprise! Yeah, well, they don't call him Expectester. I'm sorry, even I get nervous around crowd of killers. On my wall, Nick Stick <laughs> gets a little flush. Stick, really? Hey there, you're looking good, victim. Real good to be victimized. Uh, and we literally cannot let Huntress and Trapper sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They cannot fit the table if they sit <laughs> side by side. <laughs> they too big. They are huge. Look at this, we can't even fit everyone on a screen at the same time! You're probably thinking it was an error, but it's not! It was completely intentional! <laughs> oh, lovely. Great develop, uh, great game design. <laughs> Good thing I didn't study how to do this shit. Let, let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Gotcha? Got that? Really? Okay, Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on the one side, the rest of them will sit opposite you. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the end with their enormous sexy arms. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin digging out. Digging, digging out. <laughs> Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. <laughs> okay, 12 hours? We hope you all enjoy it. We really, really hope you do. Hey, do you... <laughs> hey, you didn't actually tell us what you were serving. What are we eating? It's meat. Yeah! <laughs> it's just as regular as meat. Juicy meat! Season with specific number of special herbs and spice there we simply cannot divulge. How come? My favorite! <laughs> meat! Meat is good! Meat is murder! What? Which, <laughs> which you now consider what you've been up to? What are you to get judged now? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just sharing fat, so you need to. Uh, and you need to murder some to eat, it's me, so that's what's like technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true! <laughs> Technically, it's true! Okay, enough yapping, let's see it. <laughs> hey, victim, you think what I'm thinking? No, I am actually don't know. I am absolutely no idea what you're thinking. No reason. It's gonna be a person that spit, right? On several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. What? What spit? What do you mean by spit? Like spitting? Okay, uh, I haven't seen many pigs wearing a palm tree button down prints, you know? When you look closely at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. Oh, spit! You mean the, the, uh, the plate. I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours. <laughs> this took 12 hours, bastard. <laughs> and we do literally everything on this island. Actually, there's one thing you are not doing today. You're not carving up this delicable meal. Okay, of course, Antris will be like to participate to chop it off. Oh, he's right for a change, because I am with my Brodax! It's a perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. Do you clean it? Do you, uh, you sanitize the bloody thing? First, who says twain? Sometimes I swear it's like we all from completely different historical eras. Second, I handle this with my clever. Clever? Fast, powerful, and clean. At least I, I'll, it's clean when the meat is cooked, not blood. Okay. Uh, you two, 
ridiculous spice up swinging contest. Enough, grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Obviously. The hell it is. I'll show you both my katana and send you out to all hell if you like. Please stop. I hate when uh, we fight or talk. <laughs> or talk in general. Or even when we look at each other and die. I can do it. I have the school of, uh, of Azarov. Uh, Azaro? What the hell is the school of Azarov? <laughs> Instead of slicing it, you can club it in a, <laughs> to a second tap. <laughs> Hey victim, I know it isn't what you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix mean dinner. Felix? You kill Felix? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Otherwise this will go on for hours. No hyperbole, they once argue over what had most effective weapons for 72 straight hours. It doesn't matter which one does it, when they're done, they will take even longer and clean their weapon, all while explaining the value of maintaining your tools. Oh my great. Despite being a bunch of cool blooded killers, for some reason they're always terrified of <laughs> of tetanus. Tetanus? Uh, why don't you just let me come up, dinner? It's a bad idea. We hate <laughs> we'd hate for it to get cold. We hate when it got cold. Oh, you great. Well, Felix, it is. Oh, she just gave me a freshly sharpened machete, of course. <clears throat> The uh, minigame consists of two parts, on top, uh, on top a pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction, and on the bottom a target you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes uh, the target is immediately visible, sometimes it's hidden until the pointer arrives. Press the spacebar to stop the pointer while over the target to win, fail to land in the target and you will lose. Holy shit, and I'm using the gamepad? Achieve the perfect success, land on the start, the target not the end. Uh, okay, ready to play? Or would you like to read that? Uh, ready to play, even though I'm using a controller. Ready! Away we go! Slice! Perfect! Perfect? Perfect? Oh my god, it's going so fast. Ah, oh, damn it. Not bad. Ah, damn it. I missed. You missed completely! That was pretty good! I'd like to see what you could do with less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machete are dumb. Oh, damn it. Dinner is finally served. For real. You sound especially coming from the mask killers while they eat, which involves lifting their mask and shoving food up behind them. Ah, nasty. Spirits, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's only one who seems to really be embracing being dead. Feel dead, right? This is obviously hell, huh? I mean, yeah. Uh, ocean! <laughs> ocean! <laughs> Come on, man! We're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mysterious? <laughs> Mystery come easy? Claudette and Dwight aren't the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect. Shut up, Ocean. Without the least they lift in their mask, this is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just try to mash stuff through there. S -s -s Spirit, why aren't you hungry? The two best things about being dead is not having to eat. Oh, um, yeah. The only one thing, to be honest. Think about it, victim. Number two is number two. No, number. <laughs> really? Okay. Think about it. Number two is not number two. One last thing about uh, afterlife. Okay, I, I guess it makes sense. You don't need to. Do things, <laughs> take toilets, don't do anything, even showering at this point. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what will actually follow. You might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered, dismembered body parts floating in spectral form. You see how deep this cut on my abdomen is? You think my digestive tract connects anymore? Yeah. Now that that uh, well, that 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 makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Between the food and the behavior of the group, this might be the worst meal in history. Wow. <laughs> but even worse is if they're staring at you, they're not eating. They don't like that. They don't like that. I think they want to explanation why. What do you want to tell them? Uh, this is gross. I'm sorry. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that seagull. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyway, they were well talking about. <laughs> it's probably an alabaster stress or something. Lame misdirect. Yeah, she's right, victim. Pretty lame. Oh, who you are. <laughs> Never compromise. <laughs> you wash up on this island with no memory and who you are and how you got here? Yes, you did, poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal and you'll be standing in the sun. Oh, but the seagull. <laughs> but the seagull! <laughs> the seagull! <laughs> but the seagull! Uh oh. He just made a lot of good points. Mm, I swear. You begin to feel like headed. At it wave at me? Maybe you need to eat to survive here. <laughs> oh, guess we're gonna eat Felix. 
either dead or someone is poisoned you. No, wait, you haven't eaten, so you cannot be poisoned. Mm. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. <laughs> oh, hey, it's me again. Yeah, the, okay, the tell me, Ocean. Your friend, mentor, and guide, narrator, or to the narrator, the ocean. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Now, I, I, I finally finished to watch uh, Jojo Ocean. How was it called? Ocean something? Whatever. Uh, it was fun. A little bit weird ending, but... Uh, Guess what? Not sure how I feel about that characterization, but I will love it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you, not unless you follow the right path, or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. Ghosts, uh, there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise, or at least to something even worse. Surprise, surprise, I'm not surprised. Why am I surely surprised? Starting scenes over and having to fast forward back to where you were, am I right? Uh, really? I have to do that? You gave too many options. Uh, for this place holds many secrets, even from itself, only the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Answer that you will learn the truth, and the ultimate truth. Big mysterious. I gotta give up on... Uh, on so this ocean character, there's some quality early game storytelling, okay. Uh, hold on, I'm back. <laughs> One more piece of advice. You you made many choices by now. Some of them I like, some of them I did not, <laughs> of course. It's your best interest to make more choices that I like, for the choices might be yours to make. Uh, but they're mine to reward. Oh, of course, the ocean gives back. <laughs> the ocean takes and gives back. Wake up to find spirit to hold your limp body, gingerly pouring cold water into your mouth. So we, 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 I guess we're going for spirit, uh, so far, uh, whatever, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Don't you just love the ocean, and mine, I do. Staring out over the vast darkness of the ocean really validates the feeling inside me that we're all too insignificant, and the only thing we're pursuing is revenge. Mm, I have to wonder, how could anyone believe anything else? Uh, you look into the darkness of night and ponder her question. Well, a simple question. How could it? How could anyone not feel small and alone in the face of such massive nothingness? <laughs> you always be alone. Ah, uh, you found someone special. <laughs> you found someone special. I used to feel that way, small and important, alone, but lately I'm not so sure. I started to feel different inside of actually think that maybe this island is where I might miss someone special. You look at Spirit, who has turned from the ocean to look at you while you speak on this topic. She clearly is so passionate about it. <laughs> a friend, perhaps something more? I don't know what this island had pl had pl has planned for me. Uh, a friend? Friends are just cowards who seek comfort in numbers. I had friends once, back before I chopped into a bunch of pieces by my father. <laughs> Sounds about right. Friends are in what they, uh, what's keeping me held together. In floating cloud of rage. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I was so dumb, so busy trying to please everyone and be perfect student. The perfect employee, the perfect daughter. Yeah, I didn't take care of myself. And now... What well, am all I've got? First of all, I got distracted from my true purpose, my destiny, the purpose that was sitting inside me my whole life. Revenge? Oh, so this might sound a bit silly, but uh, Spirit looks around to see if there's anyone else on the beach. But she convinced that it's only you two, she continues. There's, there's a dragon that lives inside me, okay? I've always known, but I've tried to ignore it. When I could ignore it, I tried to push it down. I'm so stupid. Uh, you're not stupid, that sounds badass. Right? <laughs> to let you know. And then I yell, you know, chop chop, and now the dragon is pretty much of our one track revenge beast. Oh wow. But enough of me, what's inside you, stranger? Nothing but darkness. No dragon, just a lot of fire. <laughs> Nothing but darkness! <laughs> Nothing but darkness! Ah, I'd kill I'd kill to have a dragon. <laughs> Maybe not the best choice of words. I mean a dragon sounds awesome, honestly. Don't I don't feel like I've got anything inside me, I don't. Just darkness. Never. And here I thought Spirit was the biggest go god in all the island until you arrived. Perhaps I could light torch and search through that darkness. Just as things they're really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you and you quickly spin around. Ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up with the strange island. Oh, it's the cat with the, the survivors. Only to find that the Dwight and Claudette sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand which they're waving in their air above their heads. It's very important! 
then we stick to the itinerary. We will time each Amanda our schedule. Playing sick for cute flirts points was not a part of these evening activities. <laughs> this is so pissed at me. <laughs> That's literally slotted even for after campfire story time. This year we'll be late. Playing sick. Hmm. No, I was. Uh, no time for excuses. Well, there is. <laughs> there is, but there is a schedule for after what comes after the flirting. So, are the problem? Go, 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 go. Are the choices important now? Once everyone has gathered at the fire pit, you are the god that quickly make an announcement. We're not going to blame anyone particularly, but someone in, <laughs> and uh, we're not going to say woo, woo So don't worry, you haven't been sticking to the schedule. That means that we are behind the time of the evening activities. I uh, will only have time for one person to share their special spooky nighttime story. I can live with it. <laughs> Just one story? But story in time is my favorite activity! This is a novelty heavy experience! You're telling us that only one person gets to share? How will you decide who? Oh great, we have to decide as a group. That never goes well. Whoever did this step up now? I swear I won't be angry, I'm gonna chop your head clean off. No fuss, no muss. Voice trembling, you realize it's probably it for you, but you embrace your fate. Sorry everyone, I think they are talking about me. To be honest, I still don't understand how this whole schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time while I was passed out. Been there before, even though I was taking some pressure off me, which is an absolute dream come true. It's really fair to pick up on the new people. Seriously, has anything uh, have ever happened in schedule even once? Damn it, Donald! You tried to flex that authority gimmick one more time, so help me! I'll snap your head off so quick that they'll drown you in this blood! Cynthia, Fuss and Mass are back on! You know, I love to hack slash its lies. Okay. Are the actual name? Um, we all know you love to kill is almost all you talk about. <clears throat> So many name any names, who even knows any names? Not us. I don't know my name, who's Donald, who's wife, who even knows anymore? Call me nobody. Oh, okay. Nobody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody say. But we'll still get to start the story time. Love the change. Call that victim. Who do you think should go? Ah, damn it. That's a name. Please speak somebody quickly so that this topical uh, vacation doesn't turn into a blood path. Ah, uh, ba 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 Uh. Realistically speaking, I should keep choosing spirits, but I am quite the provocative one, so... Ah, uh, provocative. Let's choose someone else. I choose you! Right! Whoa, 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 this entire experience is being carefully crafted to avoid an ape infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with the cat places, will you? Uh, you mean Pokemon? I'm not really one for scary stories, that life is scary enough as it is. What? You thought it was your favorite fucking heavy storytelling experience thingy? You will literally carry around a skull spine and your little prop. Now that the killer's out, Red holds up his skull and gets into his old hollow. Dark eyes struck it. If you're looking for something Shakespearean this story, look elsewhere. This is a tale of Mandus, of staring at the soul of death and never return. Once upon a time, a young man worked at a junkyard. The man was quiet, kept to himself, just wanted to avoid trouble. While the boats dealt with clients, the young man operated the crusher. Crusher? The crusher? Turning all kinds of cubes twisted metals. One, one day, right before crashing a car, he noticed something. Blood. Dripping, drip, drip, dripping. From the trunk. He opened it and found a frigid, frightened stranger, bound and gagged. The old man reeled, was he about to accidentally murder the stranger? How could this have happened? He freed the stranger, who ran off. The little waiting arms of the boss, the owner of the junkyard, before his shaken employee could tell him about the mistake that had nearly made, the boss took out a knife and switched his lead to the stranger throat. The young man fell on his knees, unable to grant what was happening. As he sat on the ground, too shocked to cry, the boss approaches him. What did you do? he asked the boss. I did your job for you. What do you mean? That's not my job. My job is to crush the cars. The boss let out a miserable scoff, his face contorting in evil disdain for the pathetic branch in front of him. Why don't you think we're crushing these cars to save spaces? Who do you think my clients are? I don't know, mumbled the young man. Yes, you do, screamed the boss. Deep down, you always know. What was happening here, you didn't want to admit it for yourself. Your hands aren't clean. Yeah, I would like to be paid extra for this shit. <laughs> like, a lot more. Whatever team you're paying me right now. My guy gives me money to take care of the problems. Eliminate their witness trial run. Well, tie up their loose ends, or actually you do. Sorry, we just got, uh, got an achievement. No, the young man. Wimpered at the boss, towered above him. Yes, you're nothing more than an executioner. Very bit thunderous souls. 
The old man's body shook with soft spasms as he tried to stop crying. It was when the boss started laughing that it happened. Something in the young man changed. He stood up, now taller than the boss. A faint gleam of fear overtook the snarl of the older man's face. The young man's face was empty. Empty as he grabbed the boss's throat and dragged him to the car in the car crusher. And as he picked up the boss and stuffed him inside. Empty as he slammed the trunk down to him, his stupid fat axe sticking out, be begging for mercy. Empty as he started the machine, stared at the boss and his nibbling, crying wet face. Empty as he grabbed the boss head and dug his fingers in, farther piercing the skin. Empty as he squeezed and pulled, empty as he heard bones dropping and snapping. And when the boss head, still attached to his spine, pulled cleanly out of his disgusting sack of body, he smiled. Ray stares back into the eye socket of his skull. It doesn't matter how good you are, how innocent, how kind, how full of love you once were. When you look into the eyes of evil, you will surely go mad. An awkward silence fall upon the room, until... Offer a fuzzy praise, ask about the story, make a joke, ask about the story, offer the fuzzy praise. <laughs> well done! Well done, that was fun! When you look into the eyes of evil, you surely go mad. My good, that is brilliant! I'm glad you didn't give up any Shakespeare cause uh, this story made Shakespeare look like a Shaq Joel mild breathing idiot, thank you. I'm just, I'm too overcome. If you sit down there the kills and look at each other, I'm sure if you're joking. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Great, on the other hand, is I'm sure you're joking, you may have gone a little overboard. On that note, everyone decides it's time to take a break and split up a little bit, so they can all have a moment alone before bed. And one lady is, we are alone by fire, the only thing you hear is the ocean slowly lapping against the shore. This is nice. Two more will be and tranquility that lasts for all of seven seconds, because Trickster show up and is blaring his latest fucking song! Hey babe, I'm not lonely, money if I join you. Uh, he doesn't wait for an answer. Uh, he just joined. You know, you've been wearing you from... wearing? <laughs> you've been hearing from these goobies all day, but I want to hear something from a big fish like me. Something special to be in charge of this island. Don't want you to hear. I am the ultimate catch of this island. Totally lobster in the ocean of sardines. No one can give you what I can. You just have to find me. Come on, find me, baby. <laughs> so I just leave. And was like, okay. Next time. Um. <laughs> Trista leaves, you'll be confused about why, what to make of these cryptic clues. You aren't going to get any time to yourself to think about them just yet. Or it approaches you. Hey, I'm probably not making a great impression, because I guess that's not really my thing. Just know that if you got to know me then, I mean, look the others are right now. I really hate them. Uh, I really hate the fire pit. I just kind of hate the fire in general. Maybe we'll go back to the pool. Um, like, I don't know, whatever, you know. A deep in the pool with a raid? You come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow him. An offer like that. Just don't forget our little talk. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You think you can kill me? Okay, you and your storyteller friend sleep in the water. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the episode right now, right here, because let's be honest, let's make it as creepy as possible. What the hell's going on? Um, how the Doom Liner works, uh, how it follows. There's so many questions to have. I'll see your answer. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and I hope we'll see you again very soon. You're lovely, but I.